More than 120,000 cars cross the Golden Gate Bridge per day. The exposure to salt-laden fog is more severe on the Golden Gate than any other bridge in the Bay Area. But why is fog extremely active in attacking the paint film, requiring the bridge to be repainted twice every year, wasting thousands of taxpayers' dollars? According to the EPA, acid fog has been made acidic by pollutants released into the air. This chemical reaction begins when compounds like sulfur dioxide and nitrogen oxides are released into the air. Alone, one small car releases 18 pounds of nitrogen oxide per year. If all small, the 120,000 cars that cross the Golden Gate would release 2,160,000 pounds of nitrogen oxides per year. The exhaust from cars, trucks, and buses, which also release nitrogen oxides and sulfur dioxide into the air, cause an increase in these pollutants. In addition, the shipping that goes on in the bay also releases air pollutants as they pass under the Golden Gate. According to the USGS, nitrogen oxides, the primary component of acid rain in the United States, comes primarily from transportation. That includes your car, along with the ships you see passing through the bay. In addition, nitrogen dioxide, a form of nitrogen oxides, is readily found in car exhaust and contributes to the formation of ozone at ground level. These nitrogen oxides dissolve to form acid rain and fog. Currently, there are no air pollution regulations on ships and planes. According to the EPA, there are close to zero regulations of the releasing of nitrogen oxides and sulfur dioxide. We need to take action. Programs implemented to reduce these pollutants from being released will reduce levels of fine particles and the severity of health problems associated with these pollutants. In addition, this will help stop the deterioration of the Golden Gate Bridge, which will save close to $130,000 in taxpayers' dollars. Decreases in the amount of acid rain pollutants emitted into the atmosphere will result in a decrease of mortality risks associated with lung inflammation, asthma, and emphysema. Think before you act. Walk or bike to reduce the amount of emissions going into the atmosphere. Carpooling or taking the bus can also reduce the amount of emissions being released. Write to Congress and demand regulations on emissions from ships, planes, vehicles, and other means of transportation. There is still hope. Our best hope is you.